Uh, hello, everyone out there on the internet. Uh, my name is Latia Jaquise, and I am the Community Relations Coordinator for Monica Games. And I am here with just a short little interview informational thing uh, with uh, one of our designers, uh, the wonderful Mr. Sean Reynolds. Hi, Sean. Hello. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good. Um, so we're just doing this super informal interview sort of thing uh, to celebrate, uh, as some of you may know, uh, and as Sean is very helpfully drinking from our 10th anniversary mug, Monty Cook Games turns 10 this year. Um, and so, yeah, 10, all 10 fingers, all 10 toes. Um, and so we just kind of wanted to, I don't know, have, a, have everybody get to know everybody on the team and what makes them tick and, you know, what's it like being a part of Money Cook Games as we roll into 10 years of wonderfulness and go for 10 more and 10 more and 10 more. So Sean, why don't you uh, let me stop talking and tell everybody how you came to be a part of this awesome team. Well, I've known Monty since 1995. Uh, we've worked together at TSR and Wizards. And in the context of MTMCG, uh, when they were writing Numenera and I was working for a different company, Monty said, I would like you to develop the rules of this Numenera game because I know that you've got a really good head for game rules. And so he gave me the Numenera rules, did the development pass on it, and fast forward about three or four years and I found myself uh, no longer employed and looking for other work and they had a position open, which happened to be the community manager position, which you're very familiar with. And uh, they hired me to do that. And I did that for about a year and a half and then had a brief stint as project manager and then just got pulled back into design and development like I always do. <laughs> so how long had, so yeah, kind of basically you've been at least a part of the company in some way, shape or form since its inception? More or less? Before it was even a, a thing. I think when before they the knew an era, there was just still Monty and Sean on everybody else mm. was kind of on a contract basis. Gotcha, gotcha. So um you've kind of had your hand in a lot of different positions in the company over the course of these 10 years. Um what do you oh. like doing most? Like I know you're you're a designer now, but like is that what you like doing? Is that is that where your where your heart is? It's it's where my normal inclinations for kind of puttering with things lie. So I will watch a movie or a TV show and it's like, oh, how would I represent that in a game? How would I build that sort of character in a game? Um, when I was a community manager, I enjoyed that a lot because I like interacting with people and I like doing things with Photoshop and memes and, and putting together videos and stuff. Uh, so I do miss aspects of that, but my normal inclination is to be looking at text for RPGs. And you still get to do that a lot. Like I, I mean, from now that I have the reins on the on the social accounts, you, I will still retweet the funny things that you do, like the series of pictures that you did when we did Plane Breaker, for example, and all those funny little meme things you did. So, at least you get to still dabble in that a little bit, right? Yeah, I think uh, I get to be a little weirder on my own account than I would <laughs> with the, the MCG accounts. That's nice. For sure, for sure. Um. Of the various properties that we have done over the last 10 years, which one has been your favorite to work on? Well, I mean, so many of our things are powered by the cipher system. So that's kind of a, a broad category. I've worked on a lot of Numenera stuff and some of those are really, really fun projects to work on. Uh, but I also got to write Stay Alive and mm -hmm. uh, Play in the Sky for just regular cipher system, which can be used for, for any setting. So those are nice. Um, but I also worked on Invisible Sun Prop Set 2, which was actually the first time I got to do some actual, like, I am producing something for the official Invisible Sun line. So that was pretty mm -hmm. awesome. It's it's like trying to pick your favorite child. It's which of them is your favorite? I can't really say in front of any of them because the other ones will feel bad. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, there's, uh, in my time being here, um, and the various games and in different forms of the cipher system that I've gotten to play, there's so much about literally everything that I can't really like. If somebody asked me, I probably wouldn't be able to pick a favorite either. 
Um, so let's move away from, let's just talk about you. I want to know, Sean, how did you, tell me about your crows. (laughs) So I am very much an extrovert and uh, my fiance is an introvert and she enjoys having quiet time around the house. And so I made it a point in late summer, early fall last year to start going on walks in the morning uh, so that she would have the house to herself for a while. And that is when I noticed that my walks to and from my coffee shop, there were a lot of crows in the neighborhood. And so I read up a bit on how to feed crows and I started carrying peanuts in my pockets. And now I order a 50 pound box of peanuts about once a month. And I feed a bunch of crows as I walk to and from all my various you know, journeys and, and errands in the morning. Uh, I'm actually known as the crow guy to some people who have nice. been walking around and doing this. And every now and then I will confuse a random passerby when I just happen to spill a bunch of peanuts out of my pocket. And they're like, why on earth do you have 15 peanuts in your pocket? <laughs> well, I'm a crow guy. Having, having the crow hoodie on does help people understand. Nice. I think that's the coolest thing. I wish I had crows near my house that I could uh, feed and befriend. I think that's one of the. I think it's one of the coolest things about you. To be completely honest. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um. So, what do you? What are you looking forward to? Um, as Monty Cook Games, uh, moves into its second decade of life. Well, we have uh, more fun Numenera stuff coming up and more fun Cypher and 5e stuff coming up. Bruce and I just wrapped up the design on the first path of the Plane Breaker book. And uh, last week during our summit, we talked about what our mid-year Kickstarter is going to be. And I'm not going to spill the beans because they will, you know, throw angry glances at me. But fans of our our games will be very excited to hear about the the weird stuff that we are planning. I know I like to be able to fiddle with different kinds of game mechanics and on various projects. So we always have something cool and weird on the horizon. That is something I'm as a person has, who has worked as a freelancer before I train myself to think there's the current project. There's the next project that I'm excited about. And then the next, next project that is just a glimmer on the horizon, but like, Ooh, when that one gets up, that'll be really, really fun. And so it's, yeah mitigating and managing my excitement for the current thing and the upcoming thing. Yeah. And then looking forward to what's, what's on the horizon. That is awesome. And because I work with you and know what's coming next, uh, I can also say that uh, fans of MCG and people who don't even know who we are are going to be excited for what we've got coming up down the pipeline. Um, Thank you, Sean, for taking a little bit of time to talk with me about everything and nothing um i think that's it (laughs) i want the listeners and viewers to know that actually latia and i have a meeting like this just about every day and she always asks me the same question so why she decided to record this one i don't know but it works it just crazy random happenstance i just decided that this one was the one that i felt that today the answers would be just slightly different and i wanted to reflect that on video that is a normal quality of february 17th yes Yes. Uh, Thank you all so much for watching and uh, tune in next month to see who else I will be asking very pointed questions at. Have a good day.